Hello. Ah. How is everyone tonight? Good evening. Welcome to my workshop. I like calling it my workshop, I think. Um, my team is called um, Stamping Spirit Stamping Spirits Bright Stampers. So that sounds like it should be like a workshop, like a Santa's workshop. I hope everyone's doing well and staying warm. Hello, Nancy. How are you today? Are you staying warm? I'm cold, but hanging in there. I got my Christmas sweatshirt on. I don't know if you can see it. My uh, niece made it for me. Two years ago, I think she made it. Two year, a year ago, two years ago. All right, yay! We got our comments up. Hello, Sue. Better than yesterday, you have a great sweater. Yes. <laughs> You're doing better today than yesterday? That's good. Kurt's doing better. I hope so. All right. So now my, <laughs> now my laptop's frozen. Ah! I can't win. Oh, not as cold. Correct. That's correct. The w I think because it wasn't as windy, maybe. Okay. All right. So I've been playing in my craft room. Um, I've been up or awake since 3.30. I've been in my craft room at 4.30 because I give myself an hour to try to go back to sleep. But if I just keep tossing and turning, there's no sense in laying there and wasting time. So I got up and uh, I played I played in my craft room. Aren't they adorable? Look at those. So um, if you're not if you're not familiar, that is a set um, from the celebration catalog. Uh, Adorable Owls, I think that's what it's called. So I'm just waiting for a few more people to hop on. They said they were going to get on. Super Adorable just ordered today. Yes! It's so fun! So um, I'll show it a close-up, but this is what I made with it. And this is what my swap is going to be for the shoebox swap on Tuesday at the uh, rubber queen Christmas party. So it's a um, gift card holder. And Nancy, I'll be sure you get one even if you don't swap because I got your back. <laughs> so, um, so there's some things happening today uh, that started with Stampin' Up. So the very first thing is the last chance list um, sale went active today uh, at midnight uh, mountain time which was 2 a.m. our time so um, anything in the mini catalog that is not carrying over that they're retiring is um, they're advertising it some of it's up to a 60% savings um, so you'll want to hop on and get that get anything that you wanted that's still available it is until January 4th un or until um, supplies last. So hello, Lori. Good to see you again. Um, so you'll want to get those sooner than later if, uh, if there's anything that you really, really, really wanted. So like the iridescent snowflakes, um, I know those are on the last chance list, so you'll want to get those. And they are 10% uh, off or 20% off if they're still available. They were this morning. So that's the last time I checked was this morning. Um, yeah, so there's there's a lot of things still out there. 
Um, and then on top of that, Stampin' Up! updated the um, mm -hmm, clearance rack. So I uh, understand, I have not looked at it, but I do understand that it is huge. They added like five pages of items to the last chance list. Uh, so, or uh, not the last chance list, the clearance rack. So you'll want to be sure to get on there and get some of those things. There's paper that was from two mini catalogs ago, like for $4.80. So um, there's one that's, um, oh, what is it called? It's one with all the wood grains in it. So, um, you know, that was that was a favorite. That was, that was a hot item. I can't even believe there's any left. But um, be sure to check it out, especially because... This class that I'm having tonight, that I'm going to show you these cards, um, with a you get it free with a $35 purchase when you order $35 of whatever you want to purchase. I will send you the kit for free. The kit includes three cards, well, six cards, two each of three different designs, and a 3D item. And this is my third and final. Christmas class. It's the third in the series. So it's it's the final one. And it's all things vellum tonight. So I'm really excited because the items are just beautiful. But anyway, what I was saying is if you make it uh, place an order for $35, you get this class for free. I mail it to you. Uh, what better time to do it than with the last chance list just going live and the clearance rack. So you could like win, win, win tonight. Um, so anyway, um, I think we'll get started. Um, oh, one more thing. Um, I'll say it again at the end is if you're anywhere in the area of Langsburg or if you want to take a drive Saturday, uh, I am doing, um, I'm participating in the Winterfest uh, craft show at the ECEC, which is elementary, early childhood, elementary, I don't know. I don't know what it stands for. Isn't that terrible? And my girls even went there. Anyway, it's right downtown Langsburg. It's from three to eight. And um, I will have a booth there, and I'm selling all kinds of different, um, my cards, kits. Um, let, me, let me just reach here. Some little gifts like grab and go, nice until proven naughty. I just love it. And there's a hot cocoa and some marshmallows and a candy cane. Um, so I'll be selling those. And, and I have them all wrapped up in cellophane, but I left one open so people could see what it looks like and then I have a calendar also um, that I'll be showing or selling and I put it together let me let me get it hang on it's right over here so the calendar looks like this and then it comes with an easel and it just sits on there like that for a desk count. So this is a nice gift for a teacher or a secretary or a nurse or, you know, anyone that has a desk or office. Um, but I did not put them all together. I actually made kits out of them so you could make them yourself and then you can put whatever sentiment on it that you want. So I have those for sale as well. So that will be very fun. Hello, Nancy Van Buren. All right, so I am going to point you to my work surface and we will get started. Like I said, uh, tonight is all things vellum and you are going to love it. I know you are because, well, I just, I just know because they're just, they're really pretty. <laughs> and who can't, who can go wrong with vellum, right? All right, I'm going to point you to my work surface. And hopefully we are straight. Not quite. Oh, I went the wrong way. So let's try that way. Oh, I overcome. 
compensated. There. Nope. Oh. We'll get it here. Okay. So, as you can see, I was playing this morning, very early this morning. And this is a celebration set. You cannot buy it. You can only get it for free. And this will start in January. Unless you uh, purchase the starter kit, You uh, there's a pre-order that started today. And you can order it early if you're a demonstrator. And if you um, are scared by the word demonstrator, um, some people say, oh, I don't want to sell it. I don't want to sell it. A lot of demonstrators do not sell the Stampin' Up! products. They they actually perch, um, start get the starter kit to um, kind of give themselves a discount on their hobby. And then they, you know, may have some friends that might want to place an order here or there. But they don't actually have a business. They have it as a hobby instead. So if you were to purchase the starter kit in December, um, you could get these items early um, before anyone else. Otherwise, you'll have to wait till January 5th, I think it is. Um, but this is a set called Adorable Owls. And as you can tell, the name is very fitting. And then I made this with it, which is a um, gift card holder. So it holds a gift card it's made out of an envelope. And I showed you this in another class, but this is going to be my swap for my shoebox swap at my um, Uplines Christmas party next Tuesday. Hang on just a second. Alexa, turn off. I forgot that I had Christmas music playing and I don't want to, I don't want it to distract you guys. So I turned it off. So anyway, that's what I was doing at 430 this morning because I couldn't sleep. All right, so the first card we're going to make, I'm going to show you the card first, and then um, we'll make it. So this is made with soft sea foam, a half, a half sheet of soft sea foam, which is five and a half by eight and a half. And then it uses this beautiful... Um, splendid day paper which has um, all kinds of foils on the one side look at that purple and silver and rose gold there's a lot in there and then on the B side is muted colors the soft sea foam, fresh freesia, Sahara sand, and I think this is Calypso coral. Yep, it's Calypso coral. So we are going to use the soft sea foam foil side out of that paper. And then we're going to use the gold shimmer which um, this was while supplies last, it's glimmer paper, I'm sorry. This has the white, the gold, and the evening evergreen. And this you can no longer get, I don't think. I think it is gone. I don't know if they'll restock it or not, but um, I know it was unorderable a couple days ago. And then there's a piece of vellum here as well. A label, which is the... I used a stitched oval, which is an older one, but it fit the frame and it fit my saying. So that's why I used it. And then the soft sea foam um, seam binding ribbon. So let's get started on that. So, um, like I said, we have a half sheet of soft sea foam. And it is not scored, so I am going to score it because I like my cards scored before I fold them. And that was my paper, paper trimmer. If, if you've heard me talk about it, you know that um, the um, paper trimmer is one of my top three items that I love from Stampin' Up! 
um, the paper trimmer, the snips, um, which is, um, those two are like first and second. And I don't know which one's first and which one's second, but they're my favorite. And then, of course, my third one is dimensionals because you've got to have dimensionals. Okay, so I have that um, folded in half. And then I have one of the piece of uh, designer series paper, the Splendid Day, which is four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to take my stamp and seal and... I used a lot of stamp and seal plus today. Um, three, what do you call these? What, what three rolls? Three rolls of it. I used three rolls of it today. I used a f one and a half packs of uh, dimensionals. and a lot of cardstock, a lot of vellum, because I was making Christmas cards at the studio. So I was really excited about that. Then I'm going to take a piece of vellum. Um, Stampin' Up's vellum um, is the best I've used. Um, it's, pretty, it's pretty sturdy and thick. Um, we're the others that I have bought in other brands have been very thin and very flimsy. Um, I can't print on them in the in my printer, um, but this feeds through the printer really well, and it prints really nice. The key is though, you've got to let the ink dry before you touch it because um, it smears really easy. But other than that, it's very good vellum. So this is um, three and a half by four and three quarters. And I'm actually going to put a piece of uh, uh, some, yeah, stamp and seal right in the middle because that's going to be covered up by my oval. And I'm going to lay that right down there. Boy, you can hardly see that. That's pretty cool. Okay. So now I want to take that piece of gold um, glimmer paper and I'm going to take, oops, sorry about that. I'm going to take my um, mini Stampin' Emboss cup machine. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss. Cut comes before Emboss. Um, and I'm going to use from the Fabulous Frames dies, I'm going to use this beautiful frame die. Oh, I just love it. And you will too. And this will come cut for you in the, in the kit. So if you don't have it, no worries. Um, I'll include it in your packet. So yeah, with the kit, um, you get all the pieces to make... Um, two of each card and you get it for free I send it to you by uh, placing a $35 order or more okay so then I'm going to take that off and it's a shame but I'm going to throw that away you could use it you know and put something around I know my sister-in-law Nancy would use that for something I know she would because she doesn't waste anything. She's she's a phenomenal um, stamper, crafter. So this is the frame, and this is the inside. Do not throw this inside away. Uh, you can use this for something else, even to back something. Um, and I made a bunch of these cards earlier, well, like a week ago, and I have a stack of these, so I'm very excited about that. Okay. And then I'm going to set this aside. So um, if you're wondering what the difference between the mini and the big machine is, size is one. Um, the weight is another. Um, this is very portable, as you can tell, and I keep it right on my uh, work surface. So 
it's it's right here. I mean, it's right in front of me, so I can use it anytime I need it. Um, so that makes me happy. All right, now I'm going to use, because this is really thin, the frame, it's hard to get any adhesive around that. So I'm going to use my um, Tombow multi-purpose glue. And as I've said before, it only takes a little bead of glue. You do not want to saturate that at all. Um, you'll have a mess if you do. It only takes a little and it's very strong. So it will hold. Okay. And then I'm going to take my oval that I already pre-cut. Actually, I'm going to put this die back in the case because I don't want to lose it. All right. And I'm going to use the framed florets. Um, the framed florets comes with two stamp sets and and the dies which I'm not seeing the dies right now but it comes with dies that cut out all this all right let's go back to the workstation that was my sister Sue and she was on here live so I'm not sure what's going on Nice till naughty. That's a great teacher gift. Yes. I'm just reading the comments. Yes. All right. So I'm going to use the framed florets and specifically the stamp that says for a special person on a special day. That one's not big enough. And I'm going to use um, soft succulent for the ink. Okay. And then just tap, tap, tap. You don't have to push hard. There's lots of ink there and you'll see that there's ink on the stamp. And I'm actually going to stamp it down on the oval because the bow is going to be at the top. So I want to make sure that that there's room for it and it doesn't cover up the same. Actually going to adhere that down too, but I'm going to close this ink up first. And then I'm going to center it in the and then this is called soft sea foam and it is binding ribbon, seam binding ribbon. So I'm just going to make a bow. There we go. How many people like making bows? See, just like that. And then I'm going to use a mini glue dot. And they are on the wax paper here. And you just put your bow on there, press. The mini glue dot comes off the wax paper. It's on the back of the bow. And then we're done. 
So that's our first card. I hope you like it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Okay. We'll set that one aside. The second one we're going to do looks like this. And that is heat embossed on vellum. Okay. So this one I made. Um, under his wings you will find refuge. So I made it for like a sympathy card or someone that's struggling or going through a hard time. But I'm going to make one that looks like Christmas. So this one takes a half sheet of your um, basic white or you could use a thick white cardstock. So again it's five and a half by eight and a half. Then I have a piece of Evening Evergreen, and that is two and a half by five and a half. And I'm going to glue that down. Can you please hold the finished cards up close to the camera? Yes, I can, Nancy. I absolutely can, and I think you asked me to do that before, and I obviously have not done it. So let me, there, how's that? Is that better? Maybe a little, a little farther back. How's that? Much better. Good, good. I'll try to remember to do that with this one too. Okay, so I have that piece of Evening Evergreen glued right down to the um, card base. Then I'm taking a piece of designer series paper and this is from the Fitting Florets paper. Um, this is only available while supplies last um, through the end of December or while supplies last, whichever comes first. Um, but this paper is beautiful. It, it, go, it goes with the framed florets and the fra framed and festive. Um, stamp sets and dies and the dies actually cut out these flowers so they're they're in the shapes of these flowers and uh, beautiful the dies also cut out the stamps but the when it cuts out the paper it's really beautiful so I'm using this and I'm gonna glue this down to the evening evergreen for those of you who have already um, placed an order and have gotten one of the first two um, Christmas classes, um, thank you, first of all. But secondly, um, the tutorial, if you do not understand it, um, like the box that holds the chapstick, um, this was kind of difficult to explain how to do. So if it doesn't make sense, you can always look, you know, go back to the video and watch the replay and um, you'll see, you can see how to do it. Um, this paper also, this particular piece, um, I've seen people color the berries in with red and it is very beautiful, very beautiful. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of vellum and with the framed florets dies, I cut out this frame and then with a different frame, this was the center of it. And actually, they did it perfect because that fits behind there perfectly. 
So you could use, you could cut out this one with vellum and then you'd have the center, but it's only the exact size of that. I liked it when it actually looked like a frame. So that's why I used a different size oval, the different uh, frame. So I'm going to heat emboss this. And for those of you who have never seen heat emboss work, it's magic. I love it. Okay, so I have my piece of vellum. The first thing I want to do is I want to take my um, embossing buddy and I want to go all over my piece of paper, in this case it's vellum, with this. It's like a rosin bag. You remember how you had a rosin bag when you were on a bowling team? Do they still have that even? I don't even know. Um, but what that does is it takes all the static off of it and it, it, it helps the um, embossing powder to only stick where the Versamark is. So I'm using Versamark for the glue, if you will. And I'm going to use from the Framed and Festive. Um, have yourself a merry little Christmas. I love that. And then I'm going to just, again, you just tap, 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 just like you did with ink. Versamark is an ink, um, but it's it picks up any color or clear, um, depending on what embossing powder you use. Okay, and I'm going to stamp that in the center. And you can't even see it. And then you take your powder and your tray. Oh, I should not have gone over the top of that. And then I'm going to dump that on there, tap the excess off. Hello, Sharon. And then you have something like that. Can you see that? I think you can. I'm going to, before I make a mess of this powder, I'm going to unscrew the end and I'm actually going to dump all the excess back into the container and I just tap, tap, tap till it's all back in there and then you don't waste any. So this little tray is awesome. And I'm going to close that up because now I'm going to take, when you purchase this tray, it comes with a brush in case you get any extra on there. It comes with tweezers. And it comes with the embossing buddy. And um, they are awesome. Okay, I'm going to close that up. I'm just trying to make sure I don't have anything else. So now I'm going to use my heat gun. Um, this is not a Stampin' Up! brand, but Stampin' Up! does uh, sell. A, a heat gun, a heat tool, and I'm letting it warm up right now, and it's kind of loud, but um, you're going to see the magic work right before your eyes. Okay. So you hold the gun, the heat tool, a little ways back. You don't want it right on top of it, although look what it just did. It actually heated it, and it is embossing right before our eyes. And that's all it takes. Turn that off. So can you see that? I hope so. Maybe behind. Okay. And it's it's all it's all embossed. It's all dry. It's all good. Woohoo! See? See how easy that was? Okay, so now I'm going to clean this. And again, you can just use your uh, simple chamois to clean that off. And I'm going to put this back. 
How much is that tray? I can tell you in just a second, Sharon. Uh, it's called Embossing Editions Toolkit. It's $27, and it comes with the tray, the embossing buddy, the brush, and the uh, tweezers. And the tweezers are, um, you know, that kind. I don't know. I don't know what you call that. Reverse tweezers? But um, I tell you, they, they save the fingers so you don't burn them. Because that heat tool can get pretty hot. Okay, so now again, I'm taking my Tombow multi-purpose glue and I'm just putting a bead around it. That's all you need. You don't. You can even do dots around it, and that will be enough. Then I'm going to glue this down. And when using the um, glue, it's forgiving, so it gives you a chance to move the paper if it's not lined up right. Looks pretty good. Then I'm going to bring my card base back over, and I'm going to, again, put a bead of glue around that frame. Just a light, just a light bead. And that glue has lasted me a long time. Then I'm going to put this off center, and then I'm going to hold it down just so that glue can set a little bit. There we go. And then out of the um, um, the frame florets, the dies, there's also this sprig that is just gorgeous. So I'm gonna use my take my pick tool. If you don't have it, I'm telling you, you'll wanna get it. I think it's 10 bucks. It helps poke things out. It helps pick th the sequins up and place them in on your project. Um, yeah. All right. Now I'm going to use this glue again because it's it just works for this project. And I'm going to put a small bead of glue right down the stem, like halfway. Then I'm going to put this here. Oh, and there is a little in the, yeah, what do you call these things? Those things. It wanted to stay on the project. I don't want it on the project. Then I'm going to take my white crinkle ribbon, and again, I'm going to make a bow. Sue, I'm getting one. Yes, yeah, Sue's getting a take your pick tool. She sees me use mine and she's like, I gotta have one of those. It's true. It's It really makes your life a lot easier. And we, you know, want our life to be as easy as possible, right? Okay, I'm going to take another mini glue dot and I'm going to put it right there. Tail's kind of giving me a fit, so I'm going to fuss with it a little bit. There we go. All right, Nancy, are you ready to see it up close? How's that? Mm-hmm. 
Do you like it? I love the green and white. It's, I love the evening evergreen and the soft succulent. And I'm going to miss those in colors when they retire in uh, April. End of April? Yeah, so May will get some new in colors. The in colors last for, um, oh, thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. Both Nancys. Um, the in colors change every year, but they stay around for two years. So, um, yeah. Okay. Now this next card, I'm going to, I'm going to fess up right now. I have never made it. I've only seen a picture of it. So, um, bear with me. I'm going to do the best I can. And hopefully not um, mess it up. Okay, so like I said, it's all things vellum. Well, tonight our card base, the card base is a piece of vellum. I've never seen anything like it. But when I saw this, I thought, why has no one ever thought of making a card base out of vellum? Probably because it's not real sturdy. But by the time we get done with it, it will be sturdy. And um, it is just, it, it is so beautiful. So I'm going to make a good crease on there. That little piece of white is still sticking around. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. And I need two pieces of shimmer white. Can you see the shimmer on it? I think we need to contact Stampin' Up! and tell them we want more shimmer. Don't you? I don't know if you can really see the shimmer. Um, I don't think you really can see it. I can see it, but, um, yeah, I think we need more shimmer. If we've got to, if we've got to work that hard to see it, we need more shimmer, right? Okay. So this, this card, um, this piece of cardstock, shimmer white is cut at three and three fourths by five and you need two of them. Okay. Then I'm going to take uh -huh, my Leaves of Holly stamp set, which um, if you have not already gotten this with the matching dies, you're out of luck. It is gone. So um, very sad day. <laughs> but for those of you who do have it, it is one, a wonderful set. As you can tell, you can see what ones I use the most of. Okay, so I'm going to take the smaller holly and I'm going to put it on my clear block. And this is the solid holly, well, the more solid of the two. And I'm going to stamp it in soft succulent. And you see how I'm stamping off? And that's okay that that didn't make an impression because the outline is going to take care of that. And then I'm going to make just um, I'm trying to so there it goes. That's a better impression. I just want that just to stamped off, if you will. So I'm going to clean this off. Then I'm going to take the outline of the small leaf and I'm going to use Evening Evergreen. Oh, I'm going to be so sad when these colors are gone. 
They're like the best in colors I've liked of, of all. So it will take a lot to um, You know what I did? I used the large leaf. Okay, we'll go with that. So I'm gonna clean the little leaf that we didn't use. And I'll use the large leaf. So in stamping, there are no mistakes. There's just creative opportunities. Does that sound barn <laughs> Yeah, Sue, you can definitely borrow mine. Okay, I've got to bring this closer to me because I've got to line it up. And that's what's good about the poly photopolymer stamp sets is you can see to line it up. This is called two-step stamping. It's when you put a lighter color down first and then a darker color over top of it. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. And again, I've got to bring it closer to me. Does anyone else have to work really close to their work, to their project? Again, this simple chamois is just um, moistened with water. That's all you need to clean your stamps. Okay, now I'm going to take the berries and I'm going to stamp the solid berry in real red. put it down. There we go. And then I'm going to clean this. cobbler, I'm going to do the outline. Make sure that's stuck on there because I don't want to lose it in my ink again. Alright, and then I'm going to line it right up. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Oh, I just love it. And if you don't want to do Christmas, obviously holly can be for winter, so um, you can put any sentiment on your label. Um, then I'm going to take mm -hmm, a label. This label is from the Labels Aglow dies, and that is a beautiful label. And I'm going to say Merry Christmas. And I think I want it in the Cherry Cobbler. Um, you could do it in any of these four colors, but I like the Cherry Cobbler. It doesn't say Merry Christmas, it says Christmas Wishes. And then I 
I still have some ink on my block, so I'm going to wipe that on my chamois as well. Clean that right off. All right. I think we are ready to assemble. All right. So I'm going to bring my um, vellum card base back in. And I'm actually going, this is going to be this inside and this is going to be the outside. So I'm actually going to glue the inside down first. And you'll see why. And you want to center it top to bottom, left to right, as best as you can. Oh, that shimmer paper is so beautiful. And then you want to glue down. I guess both sides are shimmery. I was going to say this side looks more shimmery than the other side. So now the reason we put the inside one in first is so we can lay this one right over top. So it lines up perfectly. See how that works? Woohoo! And yes, I'd like to take credit for it, but I cannot <laughs> because I did not think of that. Okay. And then I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals. Uh, I'm getting down there with uh, my dimensionals. Almost time to break out a new sheet. Okay. that on there and then I'm going to use the shimmer ribbon that is gold and again I'm going to make a beautiful bow This is kind of stiff ribbon, but it works. It makes a beautiful bow. And then I also want from my holly berry dies. There's these sprigs. The, well, I don't know what you call them. They're um, just little sticks, twigs. I don't know. What do you call those? Someone that's in um, horticulture. Is it horticulture? Gardening? Tell me what these little sprigs are. I don't know what they are. So I'm going to move this aside. And I'm going to use, <laughs> I'm going to use a piece of this gold again, because we don't have it on this one. Ooh, maybe the green would be pretty too. I'm going to use both, the green and the gold. It might be too glitzy, but we'll, we'll try it. Is anything ever too glitzy? I don't think so. Tell me, does anyone think it's too glitzy? Can you ever have too much glitz? Okay. Um, I need one of each. So I'm going to run this through. I'm actually going to try to do them both at the same time. Um, I'm going to do two. Why not? We're running it through. Why not? Right? 
And then come on. It doesn't want to start because I've got that paper hanging over the end. So I'm going to cut that off. Start over. I didn't cut all the way through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the green one off and that's embedded in there. So I'm going to take that and take that and then I'm going to line up those, the gold ones again. If I can see it. It's kind of tricky. It's kind of hard to do this with the paper underneath because it's not gripping to the table. So I'm slipping. Okay. There we go. And if you were to get this kit, these would come cut for you. So you don't have to worry about um, not being able to get the paper or the dies. Okay. All right, bring this back over. And I'm going to glue my bow down with a mini dimensional, or I'm sorry, mini glue dot. So I'm going to take my Tombow multi-purpose glue. I'm going to put a little bit on there. Glue that down. Take the gold one again. Just put a little bit of glue on there. Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys. <laughs> I say you guys. You're, probably, you're all ladies, I think. I don't think I have any guys on here. Look at this. What do you think? I am glad of that, having the sprigs pre-cut. Yeah. What do you think? And then on the inside is that. Lots of thumbs up and hearts. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now we're on to our 3D project. Let me just clear some things away because I'm going to need some room. You guys are going to love, 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 love this next one. Oh, I better put these dies away before I lose them. Because actually this stamp set and dies is not mine. I do not own it. Look at the note on the back. <laughs> so I borrow it as well. I didn't see a need for both of us to own it, but it's like, okay, why did I not get it? I, I don't know. I guess because I think I'll always have access to her, but if she moves out of state, how am I going to use it, right? Okay, I'm going to remove this um, grid paper so that I can have room for the 3D project. Okay, I'm going to also put these inks away because 
I don't need them anymore. Okay. Okay. So this is a piece of vellum paper. It is called... It is called... Yeah, of course, I don't have it over here. Vellum specialty paper. Um, it's um, There's six sheets in it, three different designs. You get one of the iridescent and one flocked. So it's like white flocking, so it feels fuzzy. So I'm going to show you. This is a 12 by 12 piece of paper. This is on the last chance list. So if you have not already got it and you want it, you need to order it. And I would order it today. Do not wait because it will not last, I'm telling you. And it was available this morning, but I don't know about now. So I'm going to cut this at 9 inches. So another good thing about the um, Stampin' Up! paper trimmer is it has this bar arm that comes out and it goes to 17 and a half inches that you can cut. But I'm only need to go to nine. I'm going to cut that. So that's a three inch piece and that can be used for something else. So you want to be sure to save that piece. All right. Now, do not cut. I do not want to cut. I'm telling myself that because I do not want to cut this paper. So I want to score it on the long side. So the 12 inches is up against the, uh, I don't know, you can't see it. It's up against the trimmer here, this way, okay? So I wanna score it at five inches and seven inches. Now keep in mind, you're scoring vellum, which is typically um, pretty, um, not fragile, but very sensitive. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, so you don't have to press hard. However, this paper with the iridescent on it, it's pretty waxy and it's pretty thick. So you want to score it and then I'm going back and then I'm going to look at it and it looks like it scored very nicely. I don't know why it did that, because when I did it before, I had to go over it a couple of times. So I'm scoring it at 5 inches on the long side and 7 inches. Okay. Then I want to turn it on the short side, and I want to score it at 2 inches. And then turn it around the other way and 2 inches on the other short side. Okay, then I want to, um, cut a piece of white. I can't believe I don't have a piece of white at my fingertips. I do now. Okay, so I want to um, cut it at five inches by two inches. All right, and then I'm done with my paper. So I want to um, fold on all the score lines. And it might be hard to see it. With all that iridescent, but um, just line it up best you can and then use your bone folder to to crease it. 
and then I'm going to fold it this way. Folds really nice, really easily. And then on this score line as well. Okay. So then I want to, on four score lines, the five and the seven, I want to cut it and I want to cut up to that first score line and cut this one as well. Up to that score line. And you want to do the same on the other side. Then I'm going to take this two by five inch piece and I'm going to glue it down to the center there of the vellum. And I don't know why it's not running very good tonight. Now, because this is a bag and you want it to stay together, uh, I am using tear and tape to hold it together. So I'm going to, on this side, that so there's no scissors required it's called tear and tape because you just tear it and tape it down and then I'm going to do the same on this side and this is really strong now you could use stamp and seal plus as well that would hold um, I tried glue glue um, it it doesn't want to work on the vellum. So um, that's what I would recommend using. Okay. So now I want to just, I want to see what I'm doing here. Okay. All right. So now I want to put the tear and tape on these two flaps as well. And I want to get as close to the edge as I can. And I'm actually going to put in three strips because like I said, it is a bag. I'm going to put stuff in it and I don't want it to fall apart. So, and then I'm going to do the same on this side. So now there's this waxy um, piece here that we want to peel up. And then I want to fold this over and stick it down. Okay, then I'm going to do the same with this side. This little flap, I'm going to glue this down first. Uh, 
right, see what, see how we're going together. It's looking good. Okay, now I want to take these three strips off. And then again, we want to fold that up. No. Ah. You want to make sure you get it lined up before you stick it down. There we go. And then you want these three strips off. So, let me get all these strips out of the way. Then I'm going to take um, fresh freesia, a piece of scrap fresh freesia, and my three quarter inch punch. And I'm going to punch out two little circles um, and they're gonna work like grommets so um, I'm gonna use tear and tape again because like I said I just I just want this bag to stay together Peel those pieces off. And I'm going to stick it in the center of the bag, like so. Let me get these pieces off here. to put this on the other side. Clean up all these pieces. And then you just use a hole punch. I don't have a hole punch that's the right size, so I'm gonna use my crocodile. If you, this is really old. I don't even know if they still sell them. But it does do different lengths, and it does you can get in pretty far on it. So I'm just gonna punch a hole. hole. Don't get your thumb in there, Alina. That would not be a good thing. Okay. So then I have two holes like that. Okay. Then I'm going to take this beautiful metallic um, mesh ribbon. Um, it was in the Halloween section, but it does look so beautiful for winter. So I'm going to take a piece, and it's it's really it's really um, what do you call it? Not movable. What word am I looking for? It's, it's very easy to handle. Okay. Then I'm going to cut this. And cut the ribbon. And then, oh, we need to put something in it. 
actually, I just bought something today that will probably fit perfect in it. Hold that thought. These are called Heavenly Caramels, and they're butter caramels, and they're at a little grocery store in Ovid. Um, now the box, the box, well, they, they probably would fit in there, but it would, it would stand up too tall. So I'm going to open it, and they come in a nice little bag like that, and I'm going to put them in there. Someone's going to be happy. And then you just fluff out the bow. And then I think it needs a little tag. So let me do, I think I have a circle over here. I do. And I want a piece of vellum. Um, trying to remember where I put it. And I want my layering circles, guys. And I want one that's going to match that size. Um, yep, it's that one. See all the circles that you get with this? It is incredible. Um, this, I don't, I don't know if this will fit through here or not. I have to trim down the vellum. Oh yeah, it will. So let me see. size we need it. Looks like uh, three and a quarter will work. Yep. And I'm gonna put that out. Those little white pieces are still haunting me. Okay. And then Okay, got that. Put this back with my guys. And then I want my wintry 3D. I can't find it. Ugh, it was right on top. So Wintry 3D embossing folder comes with snowflakes and pine branches. But we're going to use the snowflakes, of course. And this will fit in the mini. which is nice. So I'm gonna get my other plate. Okay, I need to read the directions because I don't usually use the 3D embossing folder in this. Okay. Hmm, it's all worn off. Oh, maybe it's on here. Yep, it is. Okay, using with 3D embossing folder. 
So I just need this plate, number four, oh, number one, and then um, my embossing folder. And you want to make sure you put the hinged inside, hinged side in first, then number four, and then run it through. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I'm loving it. to stamp something beautiful. Um, aw, may the season be filled with peace and joy. Tis the season to be jolly. Oh, I like tis the season to be jolly. Tis the season, oh, I don't even have it mounted. Well, I'll show you how to mount a stamp in case you didn't know. So the red rubber stamps, you peel that waxy backing off and throw that away. Then you have the label and it is cut in two on the back side. You just peel those off. You don't want to touch that sticker. It's very, very sticky. And then you want to line this up and put it down. And there you go. It's all mounted. And then we're going to put this on like so. First time that you use a red rubber stamp, you might want to um, take a sanding block and just wipe off the finish that's left on it, any residue from the um, factory. And I'm going to use, because I used fresh freesia for the grommets, I'm going to use fresh freesia. I need the magnetic sheets for all those circles. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. I'm going to just tap, 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 tap. And put that on the white. Yay. Stamp back in, close my ink, and then I want to put this over it, and I'll use my punch that I have, my paper punch, because this is okay for the size. And I actually want to feed it through here. And I'm going to go in through the back first. It really is forgiving. It just, it's so easy to work with. Okay, now I'm going to Tie that back up again and fluff out the bow. Now, when you get this, you will not get the caramels with it. I'm sorry to tell you, but you will not get the caramels with it. So that's project. What do you think? Okay. Yay! I love the hearts! Love, 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 love them. So let me show you. Let me clear some space here. Um, I don't know what I 
did, there we go, with the pick, take your pick tool cap and my adhesive and my snips, my block, my bone folder. See, everything goes right back very uh, easily. And then this was card number one. Let me show you again up close. Card number one. Card number two. Tell me which one you like the best. Card number three. I love those sprigs. They just add so much to it. And I'm glad I did it in the glimmer. And then, of course, the the gift giving bag and it is really sturdy I mean it is it is a really thick vellum so um, you could put a pair of socks in there and you know these caramels are not light but you know it is it, it is holding up the, to the job so that is that is cool you have a pair of socks or I don't know What else could you put in it? Oh, I know. Um, you could put in a whole bunch of adhesive, like a package of uh, mini glue dots, a Tombow glue, and dimensionals, and mini glue dots. Did I say mini glue dots? Yeah, that would be cool, a little adhesive. Yep. That would be nice. Okay, I'm going to point you back up to me. Hello. I'm so glad to see you. I can't choose a favorite card because I like them all. Carol is going to love these cards. Um, these are not the cards that you got for your kit. You got uh, class number two, Nancy. This is class number three. So any orders placed today through Monday um, will receive this kit. So kit orders that are $35 or more. Um, and I'll send those out to you. So some people have already ordered today, so I'll make sure that they get those as well. All right. So to recap from the beginning, Stampin' Up! is having a couple of specials right now. Um, the last chance sale started today. That's... Um, items in the mini catalog that are not carrying over. They're retiring. So those items, um, some of them are up to a 60% savings. I can't show her how to make them. We can't show her how to make them. Oh, because she doesn't have any internet? So you can't show the video? Okay. Well, if if you have a question, if the tutorial, there's a picture of each item, each card and the project, the 3D project. So if you have any questions, if the directions aren't clear, um, give me a call or text me and, and I'll help you through it. Um, so the last chance sale is, um, oh, you can. Okay, that's good. So the last chance sale is started today and it goes through January 4th and you, or January 3rd. And um, it's while supplies last, and it's up to a 60% savings on some of the items. So you'll want to check that out um, because, you know, if you're going to place a $35 order or more, you want to get a good deal. So it is while supplies last. So once they're gone, they're gone. You can't, there's no back order or anything. And then there is the clearance rack that was updated today as well. And it is huge. It They added like five pages of items to the clearance rack. So there's there's specialty paper or there's D DSP designer series paper that was normally $12 that it's on sale for $4.80. Um, some of the wood grain papers that, you know, it looks like wood or shiplap, um, that, that was available still as of this morning. Um, well, right before 1 o'clock. So um, I don't know if it's still available or not, but you'll want to check it out and you'll want to do it sooner than later. Um, also, uh, I'll be at the Langsburg um, ECEC, the Early Childhood 
elementary. <laughs> I gotta figure out what PCEC stands for because it's driving me crazy. But um, it's right downtown Langsburg. It's uh, our Winterfest festival this week. And the Grinch is trying to steal it. So he's all over town. It's, it's really cute. He took the website hostage and he was answering people's comments. And, you know, they were not nice comments, but it was pretty funny. Um, but yes, I will be at the ECEC in the gym um, from 3 to, to 8 on Saturday, December 3rd. Um, I will have cards for sale and kits, and um, let me show you uh, cups like this uh, that says nice until proven naughty, has hot cocoa and some um, marshmallows and a candy cane, and then um, I've, uh, I've wrapped them all up so they're all ready to go and ready for gift giving. So those would make good gifts for teachers or um, the male lady, well, male person. We have a male lady. Um, or, um, you know, just anyone that you need to give a little something to, um, just so they know that they're thought of and they're appreciated. Um, I will also have some calendars that, um, their kits that they can put together. Uh, I don't know what I did with that one. I'm not sure where I put it, but um, I'll have those available. And then, of course, um, sign, you could sign up for a class or uh, enter your name for a door prize and um, have a chance to win something. Um, and that is Saturday, December 3rd from 3 to 8 at the gym, in the gym at the ECEC, which is the little school right downtown Langsburg. So I think that is it, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Stay warm. Uh, it's a little chilly out. Um, it's a lot chilly out, <laughs> but uh, it is getting to be winter, so it's only going to get colder before it gets warmer. So um, everyone have a wonderful evening and a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.